Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. I just wonder, as we look ahead to another North London derby, whether Tottenham have concentrated too much on trying to catch up with us rather than just play the season as it is. And if they finish above Arsenal, well, great, that's happened because they've had a good season. Well, that's right. We quite often talk about the shift in power, or what we've seen might be a shift in power at the start of the season, but it hasn't quite happened yet, has it? We've got an excellent defensive side with the best defensive stats in the league against the side that scores the most goals. It's an intriguing prospect. Walking into the ground, I couldn't make up my mind how this match was going to pan out with those two teams, the best defence against the high scoring visitors. Fascinating. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Toby Aldevarel starts with Jan Vertonghen as the centre-backs. Moussa Dembele starts. He was man of the match last time out. It's good to see them going with two strikers today. This is the Arsenal lineup. Pedicek starts in goal. Kieran Gibbs starts alongside Hector Bellerin in the fullback positions. Francis Coquelin plays for Granit Xhaka in the centre of the park. And playing through the middle today, up front, Alexis Sanchez. I know it's hard for you to talk about White Hart Lounge as an Arsenal legend, Alan, but uh, did you enjoy playing here? Well, when we won, I did. And <laughs> we won a few times. But uh, you knew you were in enemy territory from the moment you pulled up to the stadium on the way to the ground, actually. Uh, it, it, it was great because uh, special games, the North London derbies, and we all used to love playing at this place. Victor Waniyama. Musa Dembele. Jan Patonga. Dele Alli. Return pass. Song. Janssen. Christian Eriksen. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Managers like players get called up by uh, international setups, and of course, national teams need coaches. Could he be uh, a manager at an international level? Well, I think he does deserve a chance. I think tactically, he's proven himself to be quite astute. Uh, which is always fairly important at international level. Um, he knows about players. He's a good man manager. I think you'd say that about him. So uh, I think he'd do well. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Really strong play in the tackle. Well, he was in the right place at the right time to cut it out. Danny Welbeck. Santi Cazola, attacking now. Strong, fair challenge, pulls out for a throw, though. Here, Walcott, probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Defender to it first. The uh, attack has fizzled out here, goal kick. As you would probably expect, EA Sports uh, presenting the semi-final first leg Champions Cup fixture. Spurs will be facing Barcelona away from home. Well, you look at it and I just can't call a winner between these two teams. Christian Eriksen. Song. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. There goes the cross. Eriksen! Indeed, but the 
move is broken down. I think sure you know a lot about Alan. I mean, what's it like to play in a North London derby? Frantic, usually for the first 10 minutes or sometimes for the entire 90. You know that it's a special match in the days leading up to it. The fans will remind you of that. There'll be a throw now after the tackle. On to the attack now. Gone out over the touchline, that'll be a throw to the opposition. Toby all the wide out. Christian Eriksen. Janssen. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And in he goes with the tackle. Belly Alley. Janssen. Decision is a throw. It's a fair tackle. Well, that was quickly done. Sanchez. Here's Walcott. Gibbs. There's some potential in this move. Tries to punch it away. Good through pass. He's had a go here. He's kept it out. He put them in front. That's a great interception. The has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. Well, that looked promising. Well, that is half time. And the score is nil-nil here. been the only partially impressive from Arsenal, not as good as the facts and figures tell you that they can be, and that's reflected on the scoreline, which is level at the break. No, it's a bit of a collector's item so far, but still, 45 minutes, you'd expect that to change. Well, it's going to be a substitution now. Number 12, Victor Wayne, to be replaced by number 15, half is off and underway this is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening they cope with it well defensively so here's Dyer well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball somebody in the crowd maybe came in with the challenge and the ball broke free Davis. It's Eric Dyer. Here's Dyer. Some activity down on the Arsenal bench. He's coming forward with some danger. Foul against Spurs. For Spurs, and their player who was the culprit. It's yellow. I think in this climate, there's no doubt that's the correct decision. Substitution for Arsenal coming off the pitch. Arsenal with the substitution. Ericsson! Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. That's at the corner for Tottenham. Coming onto the pitch, number 15, Alex Oxley Chamberlain.
The change now for Arsenal. Cleared the danger. Toby Alderweireld. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Here's a chance to attack. Tried the back heel. Good play, but they've lost the ball now, and the opposition can get at them. Danny Welbeck. Very good passing from this team. The return ball. Attacking now. It's time for some fresh legs here. Coming onto the pitch. Aurier. Here's Dyer. Good strong tackle. Attacking well here. And he can take possession in his own half. It's nicely worked until that point. And it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. days going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action all right it's a definite foul martin it's a slight tackle but he just mistimed it badly first goal of the game he sensed it was coming it's finally arrived really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress Davis so advantage rule played for Spurs not rushing it here moving from one side to the other that's not a good cross at all and easy to defend time ticking on just over 15 minutes to go. Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? Yeah, they're playing Sunderland in the next match. I can't see them facing too many problems in this one. Easy for them. Right from the beginning, we've never known which way this game is going to go, and it, it's kept its drama right to the last. Deli Alley. Short passes, keeping the ball. Comes in with a tackle. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Gibbs. Hector Berry. Santi Cazola. Danny Welbeck. Turn pass. Could be dangerous. Trying to find Alexis Sanchez. centre stage now the corner put where the goalkeeper wanted it really that's not the best idea it's Eric Dyer and the decision for the added time is three minutes of three minutes of added time Clock running down as they try to run forward to get into 
goal scoring positions now. Read to play well to intercept. Final whistle goes. Victory for Tottenham Hotspur. It's a great game to win, a great way to win it. And I think the fans at least will be rubbing it in to their rival supporters. And the losers they were the team that wanted to win this match more. An excellent result for the home side here, and a clean sheet as well. And to do it against attackers of the calibre that they were facing today must be very satisfying. Yeah, they weren't overly gung ho, were they? They sat there at times, the home team, and picked off the visitors when they had to.